My name is Marty Linsky. I've been teaching at the Kennedy School for about 35 years. I started out teaching about the media and politics, and for most of the last two decades, I've been teaching about leadership. I've thought a lot about what makes great teaching, both from the pressures of being in the front of the room and also from my own experience in school, law school, and college, and trying to think about what are the qualities and what makes for a spectacular moment in the classroom. And there are several qualities, several variables, several pieces of this, the art of teaching that uh, stand out for me. Um, one is, I, you know, teaching is a role. It's a, it's, a, it's a role like any other role that you take on in life. Uh, parenting, uh, CEO, um, doctor, those, those are roles. And the, the question really is about uh, how you perform in that role. I, I often tell people who are teachers, who are politicians, who are journalists, who are senior managers in organizations, that the best professional training they could possibly get is to take acting lessons. Um, now, when you say that to people, sometimes their reaction is, well, acting is about phoniness. It's about, quote, acting. If you've taken acting lessons, you know that's exactly wrong. It's, it's not the case at all. What you learn when you take acting lessons is how to be authentically yourself in a role in the moment. And I think that requirement is essential for great teaching. Um, to be who you are in that role and fully present in the moment. Um, it's the only way you can enable yourself to be with the students, to be with the participants in that program, to be attentive to what is going on in the room and to listening to what they say. Now there are two things that fall out of that which I think are really important in great teaching. The first of is my experience, my personal experience, is that there's a direct correlation between how empty your head is and how good the class is. The less that's in your mind, the less that you're thinking about, the less that you hear that voice in your head, the more you can be fully present in that moment with the community of people, the participants, the students, who you're trying to work with and you're trying to help. That's the first piece, the first essential piece. The second piece, which is related to that but is different, is the willingness to be disliked in the moment. Uh, I find whether you're talking about parenting or you're talking about teaching or you're talking about being a politician or being a journalist, uh, one of the essential skills is the willingness to do what you need to do in that moment even though it's going to make people uncomfortable. It's going to make people push back. It's make, going to make people resist. And to me, that is very true in the classroom. There's so much pressure on teachers to get good evaluations. There's so much pressure on politicians to have everybody love them. There's so much pressure on a parent to have your kids love you. And yet those moments, those moments which are really the most important moments is where you're willing to do what you think is needed in that moment is the right thing to do, even though it's going to make the people who you depend on, who support you need, unhappy. That to me is an essential ingredient for ta great teaching. And the greatest teachers I've had have always had that willingness to be disliked in the moment. <laughs>